Everyone always said that Kirby was lucky, but in reality, he just knew how to play the odds. For instance, Kirby knew the precise chance he had of choosing a blue piece of candy from his pocket, one in six. From a simple equation, he could determine the number of ceiling tiles in his entire school, 4,215. Or for that matter, the number of floor tiles, 12,864. When school got out for the day, most other 13-year-old boys were outside playing, but not Kirby. He spent his afternoons in room 013 calculating statistics while Miss Hembry fell asleep grading papers. Kirby wasn't working on just any calculation. He was trying to solve the most challenging equation he had ever encountered. I have found the perfect equation where every solution is right. The love equation was extremely complex. Simplified, K equaled Kirby. X equaled the pretty girl that picked up Miss Hembury every day at five. Among the vast sea of variables, the goal is to determine the relative possibility of getting K and X together. There are many factors to be considered. Time they spent together, 2.3 minutes a day. The age difference, five years. Past relationship experience, approximately zero. Kirby was determined to know his odds, but one seemingly unrelated variable stood in the way of Kirby even finishing his equation. The janitor. The janitor made sure Kirby was out of the classroom every day by five, with absolutely no exceptions. Floor's wet. He made it impossible for Kirby to focus on his equation. You know what this guy is? It's a tampon dispenser. You know what tampons are? I do. Been stealing these guys out of the ladies' room for the last three years. Selling them on eBay. What are you gonna do with all that money? I'm gonna buy a lotto ticket. And I get that lucky one. Going to Cancun, baby. There's no such thing as luck. It's just the odds are stacked against you. What are the odds I was gonna do that? One and two. This continued every school day for 13 weeks. Just as Kirby was on the verge of a breakthrough, the janitor would show up at exactly 5 p.m. and erase his day's work. But one day, all of this would change. Five o'clock, Kirby. Let's go. I just need a couple more minutes. Just hang on. I don't clean up your guys' puke all day to stay five minutes after school without getting paid for it. Now let's go. Sir, do you want to explain to me why you have a box of tampon dispensers in well, your car? I uh, we got a 419 North Clyde, he's got the tampon dispenser! What the janitor didn't realize is that his odds of being arrested for stealing school property were much greater than ever winning the lottery. 13,000 times greater to be exact. With the janitor out of the picture, Kirby was finally able to solve the love equation. But he didn't like what he found. His chances, 13 in a million. His odds were insurmountable. For the first time in his life, Kirby decided to go against the odds. The pretty girl didn't return his feelings, but she did take him out for ice cream. And Kirby's love equation taught him that often life is better when you forget the odds and take your chances with luck. Because sometimes, that's all you have. I have found the perfect equation where Kiss them